Hello. And why are you here? Yep. We are playing an oldie. And I'm just going to let the little intro play. Because it's actually kind of interesting. Like I said, this is an oldie. Back in the PlayStation era. Let it be known, this game has bangers. Amazing soundtrack. Good shit. Good stuff. Man, the 90s were... That was a time. Yeah, so this is Dragon Seeds. Um, I have seen a decent amount of coverage on this. But it's always just, like, very minimal. Because this is just one of those games that it came out and it got mixed reviews. And people were like, eh, screw it. It's not like the juggernauts of today. So I completely forgot, got forgotten. It's one of those. Um, the gameplay is fairly simplistic. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here like, oh, it's super amazing. It's fairly bare bones. The game basically works like rock, paper, scissors, honestly. But this is essentially, it is a nice little time capsule of the times when, um, the whole raising monster video games fad was becoming a thing. Like, yes, you can sit there and go, oh, like, Pokemon, but no, this is more like, more in the direction of, like, Monster Rancher, or or some of the earlier Digimon World games, and during the 90s, late 90s, there was this entire, like, concept of little digital monsters that you had, and there was tons of them, like, Digimon is the one that comes to mo most people's minds, where you had the little Tamagotchis, like, Tamagotchis themselves, but, like, Digimon were, like, Essentially Tamagotchis that you could raise to fight each other and stuff like that. But there are so many different, like, variations of this concept back then. Like, I remember one, there's there's one you could scan barcodes or something like that. I forget what the fuck they're called. But you could scan barcodes of, like, random stuff. Like, like mac and cheese or Cheetos, the barcodes, that stuff. And it would give you, like, a specific monster. And it's like, Monster Rancher did a similar thing with, like, um, you could put uh, audio discs and stuff in the console. And it'll read it and give you a specific monster. This kind of works the same way, in a sense. But it does it off uh, memory card data. But that's only for, like, specific, like, verses and stuff. Depending on the... the, the games and stuff that you had on your memory card, it would generate specific dragons and stuff. And this is th th this this is one of those I look at this game with rose tinted glasses. I understand it's not great, but this is one of those things like this is childhood to me. I think this is one of the very first PlayStation games I ever owned. And that's really funny and saying something cuz this is kind of a rare game. I remember getting it uh, when I first got my PlayStation. I got a PS1. I didn't get a PSX. I didn't get the first model. I got the PS1. And I remember the games I got with it. I got two games, and there was one that was rented because they couldn't find, like, my parents weren't able to find an actual copy of it for some reason or other. And the games I got, it was this, 
There was the 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 fucking um, South Park like FPS game, which isn't that great. But at the time, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's South Park. So you know, uh, dumb kid stuff. And the game that they rented because I wanted it, but they couldn't find it, was Digimon World Two. Yes, we had this. This is a blast in the past. I think this was the early two thousands when this happened because I never got consoles when they first came out. I've always been behind, um, and that's money thing because the consoles were expensive. Like I, I, I didn't grow up in in. I'm not middle class. I'm upper lower class or whatever you wish to call it. So consoles. Were, spending the money to buy a console outright was just unfathomable for when I grew up. So when I did get a console or a video game or whatever, I played the hell out of it because that's what I had. Um, From the gate, before even starting the game, this game has bangers. This game's music track is amazing for no reason. It's really good for the time. It could be better, obviously, because, you know, it's old, crusty, and all that. But some, like, we're just going to go to the options. I think he'll play in options. No, it's versus battle. It has to be versus battle. We're just going to let this play for a minute. This is an option select theme. Seems basic, but you know, it's there, it's there. Wait for it. This is classic. <laughs> Like, goddamn, like, welcome. Welcome to, to the late 90s and early 2000s. Like, goddamn. It is so good for what it is, and it's only used for this. That's the name of this song, is Versus Battle. This song is just meant for this screen. How wild is that? Isn't that the shit? I love this game. I fucking love this game. There is a there's a song that they play for when you're at like the the um what you call it because there, there's an arena system and you just go up the ranks. It plays a lot like Monster Rancher if you've ever seen Monster Rancher or played Monster Rancher. It plays a lot like that. When you get to the finals of your rank, it has a specific song that plays for each match or what have you, and the song's called uh, Decisive. It's good in this. In 2016, they redid it for some reason, and it is amazing. It is a really good song. In this, I think they got, like, electrical guitar and whatnot playing it, and it's very late 90s, 2000s. In the, the remake, they got a violin play. It is so good. It is beautiful. I love it. But let's just get into the game. Oh, man, I love this game. Yeah, it's one of these. Can we just... Yeah, we can just speed up through dialogue. Yeah. You must register. Very... Like I said, if you've ever played Monster Rancher, you, you know what's going on here. It is very, very, very similar to, like, Monster Rancher or what have you. You have been provided with a room at the <laughs> public house. Yeah. Yeah. And here's our baby. Yeah, he looks pretty, pretty tough. I'll give him that.
Let your dragon practice with mine? Yeah, sure, why not? This is your tutorial. It's been a minute since I played, but I, I pretty sure I remember it. It's very much just rock, paper, scissors. So, you have special attacks, reflector reflects that, obviously, sword attacks, and then there's moving and back and forth. Outside that, that's the gist. There's little nuances to it, but there's not too many. I believe this is decisive. The song. And now my reflector is at zero. I can't reflect anymore. I can block, but it's not going to reflect. And that's all there is to it. And if this looks like an unfair fight, that's because it totally is an unfair fight. That's all there is to it. Oh, he had a special. Yeah. That's it. So it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the welcome to this game. If your dragon's HP hits zero, it's dead. There's no it fainted. There's no oh it may have gotten in it's dead. It's dead? It's dead. It doesn't come back. That is all there is to it. This game's ruthless. It doesn't give a fuck about you. Yeah, so we're gonna just get a new one. Hi, Nina. My baby's dead. Uh... I don't need an explanation. I know what things do. So we're gonna go to cloning. Yes. Hi, Thomas. And this is more or less your, your idea of how to make specifics in different dragons. So we have six types that all do different things. Saurian is what you would consider a typical, like, they look like dinosaurs. Winged Saurian, it is the more classic dragon, where it's got four legs and wings, but they can end up looking more like birds or other wonky stuff. Beetles are beetles. It looks like a beetle. Uh, wasps, looks like a wasp. Crustaceans, it's a crab. Natras are golems. There's two others. There's evil and spirit. Evils look like coffins, which are weird. And spirits are like minotaur, mermaid things. Those are weird. But we're just going to go with Saurian. Um, this is where you get your different things by picking different keywords. What we're gonna go with... Where is Eternal? There. 
That's typically the good thing to go with, because it's a good mid-ground. Life is eternal. Um, this copy of the game is weird. It, it did some confangling in order to record this, so this audio might be terrible, and if it is, I am muting it. Because you get, like, a little digitized voice that says the phrase, and last I recalled I played this, it blew my eardrums out, so we'll see how that looks at recording and editing. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. And these are our little embryos. That's just the, what's next to it, that box, that's an evil. So those are pretty good overall stats for a baby. Yes, the key factor is how you raise it. Um, yeah, I'm keeping this, this is fine. A lot of special attacks for what it is. The name is important. Certain names have uh, certain effects. Whoever uh, was behind the naming or what you would say translation really liked comic books. Just proving that right now. Where's uh, W? Sounds very heroic. What's another good one? There's only so many. It it, it, it was definitely very specific to, to whoever whoever did the translations. I think Wolverine is one. What's another good one? Mm. I'm thinking cheesy Marvel characters. Does it notice Iron Man? It might. I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, it, it acknowledges it. Uh, we're just gonna go with Alpha, because normally in these kind of games, I always name my pets, monsters, or whatever by uh, Roman, not Roman, Greek things, Alpha, Beta, Omega, yada yada yada. Just because you end up usually going through a bunch of them. Yeah, so he doesn't even acknowledge that. He doesn't give it anything. He's like, oh, that sounds interesting, or whatever. But we'll just go with this. Uh, yeah, why not? It is an aqua. And so you pick two things for him to train. We're going to go with wisdom and into, uh, HP. Yes. Yeah, and come back in 24 hours and we'll get our baby dog. Very simplistic game. We're just gonna go to the apartment. We'll start actually the save slot, why not? Hell. Yes. Save complete. And there's a bunch of different weapons you can get for the different sizes, reflectors. You get a huge collection of different trophies throughout the game for all the ranks. Or divisions, as it's say, and their ranks. I don't think we want to play with any of the settings. I'm pretty sure we're good. I will turn it down a bit, because... It's been fairly loud. I think we're good. Go ahead and rest till next day.
should be able to pick up the baby. Yes, the baby has grown strong. There's the boy. Yeah, now, go get it equipped. Oh, crap. And now that we got our baby, we can actually look over its stats properly. Its wisdom ain't that great. That kind of sucks. Got a lot of health for what it is. So, stats and what they do. Um, special is your special attack damage from the little breaths. Attacks is how many you have. Muscle is your damage with your weapon. Speed is more to evasion rate. I think we have, yes, evasion. So we have 41 evasion. That's flat percent. So, yeah. It's not bad because we have fairly high speed. Wisdom has to do with evolution, and that only pops in mostly at the very end of the Dragon Slice Band. Because there's a few things that can happen once a dragon's fully matured. It can either A, get old, meaning it's going to die. The longer you keep it around, when it's considered old, it just degenerates. Its it stats just keep plummeting until it eventually dies of old age. There is, I believe it's called Type A, or it's considered mutant, and they get a power boost and look really freaking weird, but they will eventually grow old and die as well. And then there's Type B, which are considered, what, Super Dragon or Eternals, and those do not age, they live forever, and it's essentially what you want. Like, that's the end game uh, goal, is to get an internal dragon. That's all about wisdom, but it doesn't come into play until the very end of a dragon's lifespan. And then we have the weapons and stuff, blah, 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 blah. A uh, key factor with speed and evasion. If you wait somewhere, like do nothing, or visit town, like whatever, uh, the dragon's weight will just increase. So if you sit around on your butt, it just gets heavier and heavier. That lowers your overall evasion rate. The speed has to be a certain point in which it, over it compensates for the tonnage, as we can see, at 6.2 tons. Speed determines your evasion rate but tonnage goes against that. Also, when you wait around, HP goes up. So that's the caveat. So you either have a very fast, lightweight dragon that can evade most attacks, and it has almost no health, or you have a tanky boy that doesn't really evade, but takes a long time to put down. So it's a bit of a balancing act. If you get an Eternal Dragon, you can more or less perfect them, where they have super high evasion rate and a lot of health. But that's only when you have one of those. So we're just going to go ahead and try to buy some cheap stuff here. Hi, Nancy. Yes. And this is basically where you get your basic weapons. What do we want? We want low tonnage and decent power. The knife is probably the best bet. Just because it's as light as it is. And this Wonder Edge doesn't do much more damage. So we're gonna go with the knife. Yes. Yes. And we're going to go Reflectors. They're all about the same. This has a better Reflect percentage, so more of the enemy's special attack will hit them in the face. The weight is the same, it just has a better Reflect percentage, so we're probably going to go with the Raft Guard. Yeah. The percentage for that increased is nowhere near, it's not as good with 
Yes, we're going with this. Yes. Equip the babe. Yes. Okay. What's his um, evasion look like now? It, yeah, it plummeted just because waiting, going to the shop counted as waiting. So we gained three tonnage from that, and then the equipment added onto it. So you can see what I mean. It's a very, very delicate process in maintaining that. And just because I'm paranoid, we're going to just save from the gate. This shouldn't take time. It did not. Okay, good. Apartment is free. As uh, If you don't rest, the apartment is free. Um, this is basically where you can have unsanctioned fights to fight for money. You just bet a bunch. Whoever wins gets the money. That's where you get the most money in the game. Uh, junk Shop has a bunch of random items that will either A, increase your stats or what have you. Or he has nothing and he yells at you and tells you to get the fuck out. Um... There's also a current. There, there's a specific thing he says. He'll say, "How's that witch Nancy doing?" So you go to the shop, you visit her, and she'll say, "Oh, the Asuka, the the jump shock man was complaining you never visit." Then you go back to the jump shop, and he's selling some god tier item. That's how you get like the best swords and shields in the game is through that. But you have to catch it. Uh, memory Forest is where you pick up the memory card dragons. I don't think you can use them in sanctioned fights. Like, you can't use them in the arena, but that's where you get them. Uh, training Center, self-explanatory, you do some training there, and then there's the battle arena. So we're going to go right into it and try to get somewhere here today. I am a Dragon Sage. Hey, Arya. I mean, no, you don't need to explain how the arena works. Yes, yeah, so we'll be able to get one fight in. And we're going to start with E rank. Yes, I would like to start in this rank, even though it's baby rank. It's because we have a fresh baby, so... Survival is key. <laughs> And we have a crustacean. First goal, make it use it special. I play this game very defensively. He's out. We pretty much have this in the bag. Oh, you evaded, you punk. If you keep swinging and you miss, it actually lowers your damage. That is just a thing, I don't know why. You are really persistent, buddy. As I said before, it is basically rock, paper, scissors, but you're accounting for distance as well. No? Reflected. Oh, car. We could just go for the kill.
Intimidate more or less lowers their stats and increases yours. It's not a much, like a huge amount, but it's enough to turn the tides a bit. Oh, you punk. We should be able to get a KO if it doesn't move. That's it. He's a baby. He's already killing. What a lad. Round two. It's a storm dragon, so if it's special hurt, hits, it will hurt. Like Storm does better in ice, ice does better on fire, fire does better on storm. Or aqua, it's not ice, it's aqua. Yeah, 70. It does 20s, that's not that's not fun. Sometimes I swear they read your inputs. There's a good chance he's out, but I don't know. Alright, well, we got maximum distance here, so... Let's try to get some specials in. Oh, you punk. We're probably losing this if I don't turn it around. Unfortunately, in terms of how it calculates a tie, it's by pure HP. So no matter what, they have to have less HP than you. That's the only way to win, with a tie. You just gotta bait them into the next swing. That's it. Maintain distance if we have it. Oh, you punk! He actually had another one left. It's gonna be dumb close. I'm hoping he doesn't have another. He shouldn't. Five is a lot. Survival is key. And a wing. That shouldn't be a problem. Trying to bait out the specials. Come on now. Use one. That's two.
Ah, I got you, prick. That's four. I highly doubt he has five. Oh, you punk. I keep getting evaded on it. I haven't evaded a damn thing. It's actually kind of annoying. Close match is close. Just double back up. Ah, you reflected. Oh, you punk. Rickin mind games would be a game. And you reflect it. That's that. Let's just try to keep the momentum. My attack power going down, because the more you swing, the tireder they get. That's it. Alrighty then. Like I said, very, very simple combat bat system. Yeah, 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 that's close battle, blah, blah, blah. We need speed. Did he get any stats from that? He did. Speed went up a good amount. It, look at that, yeah, see now the evasion is, is going up quick, quickly. You'll get special muscle speed from combat. Don't get HP, and you don't get wisdom. So, we won that. I'm very paranoid. Quickly save. Uh, yes. And we want to try to get speed up as quickly as possible. So we're going to go to the training center. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna train here. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Ten gold ain't jack. So, we want virtual battle. And this is how you get your speed up. And this is just a shadow match. You just fight yourself. Seeing how we're fighting ourselves, we know exactly how many specials we have. He's only got two more. And this isn't even about winning, this is just about doing as best as you can. If you win, obviously, the better, but... You can't reflect anything anymore. He's got one more special. No, we're good. And that's hitting me in the face. We're just trying to get some evasions in. But I haven't evaded Jack yet. That's how you get speed. He's 
hitting a lot harder than I am. No evasions in there. So we're not going to get much speed of anything. We got some. But not much. How are we looking overall now? Yeah, muscle's the weak point. How's the evasion look? 50%, it's not bad. It's not bad. And just because I'm paranoid. Yes. We'll be able to get two uh, arena batches in. Just because it is bright and early. So let's try to win two more ranks. We might get it, we may not. We'll see what happens. Survival is key. If you lose, you can just try again. Still have a significant amount of HP. That's good. That is one special. That is two. Pretty much good. I don't see him having five. <laughs> Doubling up on the defense. Okay. Yeah, his hurt. That was what? His third? Now you should be out. He's out. Now just leave the blades. Let's see if we can just roll him in. We have this if we just keep it up. You almost never want to advance. You want them to come to you. Alright, he's about to spell. Let's try to finish it. There we go. Blah. I love how they always explode. Because why not? Crustacean? Well, the special won't hurt anywhere near as much as the last one did. That's good to know. Try to evade it. No. Oh, never mind. That special hurt like hell. Hey, I evaded. Good. About time. What's that, too? Ah, I don't like being... Ah! Mm -hmm. 
okay, okay, okay. Very basic combat system, but it gets it, it, it gets it gets to you. It could be very nail biting. use two specials. They always have at least three. Just trying to bait that last one out. Or second to last. I'm not sure which. hasn't used it, son of a... It should be it. Yep. Very simple system. Very mind gamey. <laughs> Pulled it in your face. Good shit. That's four. Probably doesn't have five. He had five. God damn it. Baby having more than five is, like, you never see it, so. You very rarely see five. I say that, but we've seen plenty of babies with five. More than five specials is, like, unheard of. So it's just a matter of wearing him down bit by bit. We've already won, so... If we can get the KO, why not? But I don't think we're going to. There we go. Ooh, nah. Get in there. Fuck him up, fam. Just swing. Get the muscle stat. Just swing. The baby did it. Our little man. Alright. It was a close battle. You should train harder. Shut up. This game is all about just slowly accumulating money. What do we get for that? 
A lot more speed and more special. Just muscle someone. Not a whole lot. There's the evasion. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We need more of that. We need more of that. Once we get evasion all the way up, it's just going to be a matter of maintaining it. And we can futz about here and there getting HP from going to town or hanging out in, in shops and stuff. Do I want to go for the next tier? I can give it a shot. Yeah, we have a lot of evasion, so let's give it another. Let's, get, let, let's go. Good old college try. Where are we? Uh, C now? Yeah. C rank. Yes, let's go. Let's do this. Fire Dragon. Alright. Let me actually have an advantage in terms of uh, special damage. Look at that beetle. Look at those polygony Hercules beetle. What a chad. Well, ah, there's the evasion. Evasion is poke. I don't like it. All right, you're in my face. I don't like that. Oh, you reflect. You pawn. Bop. Now well, he's used two. He's in my face, so he's gonna probably use another soon. No. I do more with mine, but I'm still hurting. That's four. And he reflected. So it's gonna come down to swords. Oh, no, it ain't. You punk. It's really coming down to swords. Fade him into two more. Yeah. There we go. We got it. Atta boy. Back the fuck up. And now we try to get him to move forward twice. No. Attack twice. Fuck it. Get him. Oh, we got this. Come in my sword, fam. What you got? Come on. Meanwhile, baby dragons shit talking each other. Alright, alright, we in there, we in there. Is it gonna be the blue baby? Or not blue, green. Yeah. That is a really good reflector and I want it. Alright, that's two. Double reflect. Alright. Hey, you got it. Psych. Probably has one more.
I'll take it. It hurt like hell, but I'll take it. There we go. We in there. That's nah, just baby shit talking each other. There we go. Probably hurts a hell of a lot more with that weapon, so. That's what I'm talking about. Are we in there? Yes, I know. It's, it, once you know how the game works, like this isn't very exciting, but hey, one more. Add a boy. Kill that mother. <laughs> Just flops as I speed through. It's fine. Like... <laughs> Poor thing. Just one frame. Just slam. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. Baby rank C. Can we do it? That's one. Got out of it. Alright, alright. That was two. That's the third. Four. He's probably dry, but I'm still going to be defensive. Wop. All right, we got this. We good. Even if he has five, we have it. Yeah, we're good. Just get him to fall into the sword. Wop. SSDD. He's getting the ball into the sword. He really don't want him. I mean, it's smart on his end. There it is. Black. That's rank C. We got it. We in there. It was a close battle. As it's going to be uh, next day, right? Yeah. If you battle in the arena twice, that's the entire day. Speed is just skyrocketing. Look at that shit. Special and muscle is not bad, not bad. Look at that evasion. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if it's a flat percent, but I just feel like it is. You know what I mean? Maybe it goes up to two, uh, 255. It might. It might go up to 255. 
this is one of those games where it like ain't nobody know about it, so like the numbers aren't properly understood. Like ain't no I don't I don't know if anyone's actually sat down and um like data mined this to, to really figure out how everything works. You know what I mean? But eh, it may not be a flat percent. If it was a flat percent, I'd be dodging a lot more, wouldn't I? I'm not sure how, how that calculates. I just know we're doing good in terms of evasion and everything. So we actually have the ability to kind of derp about. We ain't got much money, but that's fine. You don't really make a lot of money in the beginning. I'm going to just go ahead and save because I am paranoid. As always. Um, we don't have much time left, do we? No, not really. Yeah, see, as we complete ranks and junk, you get these little cute trophies. There's another page for, like, the other ranking stuff, but it's typically just baby, junior, and fighter divisions. And then WC, or WDC is, is the final. So what do we want to do with our boy? A little training when it hurt. We have the money for it. I don't feel like going to the junk shop, honestly. So we're going to do another virtual battle. Let's just knock that out. Let's see if evasion breaks 100. If it breaks 100, it goes to 255. It just hits heck the hexadecimal wall. We'll see. I'm not sure. Alright. Two more. One more. He's dry. Just trying to bait out evasions. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Little boy's doing what he needs to do. Here's an evasion. I don't know if their evasion counts. I'm not sure. Let's just keep mashing attack. We got this if he stays. That's it. Baby Shadow Virtual Me Dead. We got it. Let's see how that evasion looks. Definitely got some speed from that. We got seven. <laughs> we got... Uh -huh. We got seven. We got seven. I'm a little salty about that. Yeah, training takes three hours, so... We have two more training sessions, and then we can do another combat thing. Yeah. You got really high speed. Quite good for a baby. It goes to 999, the stats. So he's almost a third maxed out on speed, and he's, he's a little boy. Not bad. He's going to get bigger soon, though. It 
it's like they get they grow big quick i think the oldest they can get be without like turning into a super is like 30 but babies are like three days and they're fully grown so in this game day we're gonna try to get um rank b we're gonna try to get rank b he might cocoon on when he's four on next day in game if he doesn't we'll get rank a or attempt it and then he's junior division so everything we do with him is just gonna be training until he does cocoon and, and get turns into a bigger boy and yes that's how they get bigger they cocoon it doesn't matter what they are they turn into a giant fucking cocoon because that's how this game works but yeah no i i'm i'm happy to be playing this this is a childhood favorite of mine this probably isn't gonna take that long as far as what we're doing we're just gonna get to the top of of the arena that's all there is to this game really there is nothing else to it this is one of those games that you turn on and play for an hour or two and then call it quits or what have you you burn through it really quickly otherwise but yeah if you stayed here this entire time i do not know why but thank you and i will see you next time